For those who have not visited the Rupununi Savannah, I believe that you're missing a big part of your life. I would, uh, I would argue that the Rupununi Savannah is the, it's the, the best part of Guyana because of the quiet and the, 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 the scenes that you would never ever forget. Just as a child, I can remember the mountain ranges. I can remember the vast creeks. And most of all, I can remember the culture. I still, you know, can taste as I speak. I can taste farine and tasso. My, um, my formal education, which would be nursery to just before grade six, I would have done that in Aishalton. I always, you know, remember the interior for freedom. I always remember living as an indigenous girl. You know, I remember, I always liken it to freedom. I liken it to um, vast lands, vast savanna lands. I liken it to the rich culture that you feel, you see, and you experience every day. Uh, being in an Amerindian community, I have learned to, you know, be part of so many rituals and so many um, customs that, you know, I probably would never ever forget. I would take them, I always take them even in my adult life. I remember the rich stories about Kanaima and the P.I. man and, you know, singing the songs about the nine Amerindian tribes of Guyana. I remember singing the songs of, of, of the mountains. One of the most important things about living and being you know, part of an Amerindian community is the love that you feel and you share, especially during celebration times. In closing, I would encourage you to go out and experience all of the Amerindian Heritage Month festivities. I would also encourage you to try as much sometime to visit an Amerindian community. Go and experience our rich hospitality and, you know, be a part of the culture. Guyana is a country of six races and we should embrace all of the races as much as we can.